Hi you guys, this is Carmen with Carmen's Losing It Together and today is officially the 29th day since I started my weight loss journey and the reason I'm counting it by the 29th day is because I had done the Bar 3 28 day challenge. And so yesterday was the 20th day and I had started on a Tuesday. So today's Tuesday. I had started on August the 26th, which was a Tuesday. And today is uh, September, I say the 22nd or the 23rd. Let me see what my cell phone says. And, uh, but it is a Tuesday. By the time I probably upload this, it'll probably be tomorrow. Yeah, Tuesday, September the 23rd is today. And um, I've been doing hers, and then on the sixth day, I do the bar amped, which is this one, on the sixth day, and five days a week I do hers. Now, she recommends that you do a 30-minute workout, and I was doing my truck climber, but oh my god, it's so hot. It's like 150 degrees in my garage, so I looked up... Um, I was going to do, um, you know, the walk away the miles or walk away the fat or I can't think of, walk away the pounds, that's what it is. And uh, I was going to do it, but I remembered I had this and this is one of my favorite cardio workouts. She does a little strength training and she's got two other modifiers. So I decided to do this because it's really hot in my garage and this is the Life Force Cardio. So it's a cardio and uh, all you use is a one pound weight and do you have an option of going from 10 minutes to 50 minutes? Twice a week, this week um, and last week I did one. So it was one and then two so I've done three within the past two weeks and I did the whole 50 minutes because it's not bad this is not a bad cardio I really like it she's got the modifier you got a one pound weight so twice a week um, Sadie Lincoln you have to do is um, like on Monday well on the first day which is tomorrow Wednesday is my first day today is my day off so Tomorrow, I'll have to do a 30-minute cardio, and then I would have to do her 40-minute workout, and it's called the bar burner. Then, the next day, I would do the 30-minute, and then on the third day, I would have to do the 40-minute one, which is the ballet fit with a 30-minute cardio. And I went ahead and I did this, because I really, this is a really good one. I got it on Amazon. And I'll share the link and uh, it's it's not bad she's got really nice beats in there and it keeps you going you know so and she's got a modifier as I said so I've incorporated this because my garage is too hot for me to do my truck climber so with the truck climber I was doing about 35 minutes and so this one's just 15 minutes more and she'll tell you she'll say um it's our 10 minute mark. You guys can go ahead and skip to the stretch for those of you that it's a little too much for. Or continue on the 20 minute one. Let's go to the 20 minute one and on the level from 1 through 10 and she's got 10 levels like did you not do anything? Do you feel like you could have gone harder? Is it uh, kind of intermediate but easy? Intermediate or medium? medium but hard or you know she'll say try to be in the middle and uh, if you didn't pump it up bring it up a notch if you were working too hard then you can go ahead and go down a notch or two and it's really good because she does that every 10 minutes this is my favorite one I have the core I don't like the core the cardio is the best one I really like it so I was incorporating this because it's too hot for me to do my cardio in the garage I just want to let you guys know that so that way you guys know what I'm doing because I would hate to tell you you're thinking I'm just doing the treadmill and then you're like hey wait a minute you were doing that that's not fair you should tell us the truth so that's what I've been doing and I really love the ballet the bar I love it um, so I've done that and of course you get your ball and the ball really does help when you're doing your sit-ups you can put it on the back. She does a back stretch with it where you lay on it and you get a really great 
chest stretch. I really never thought these things were important, but now that I'm doing hers, I can totally see the benefit of having a ball. So let me give you my stats. So I started on uh, the 26th of August, and I started with a 42 chest, 42 and a half, 42 chest. I'm still there. I haven't decreased my chest. Um, and my waist started at 41 and a half. It's at a 38. Yes, it's at a 38. I'm really happy about that. Uh, my hips started at 45 and three quarters, and it's at 45 right now. I mean, 43. It's gone down to a 43 today, the 29th day. And my waist, my weight was at 186, and it's at 179. I weighed myself a couple days ago. I was at 178. So, like I said, I really try not to pay too much to my weight because it all depends, you know. So, uh, so I'm, I'm at one around 179 today in the morning. The scale read 179. What I've noticed is when I'm doing uh, with the bar workout is I've noticed that it's like I'm getting this invisible girdle that is bringing everything in. Like my waist, I feel it. My pants are falling off. I'm constantly having to pull up my pants. Uh, I feel my legs are getting toned. My arms, I really don't pay attention to my arms because I pretty much always had toned arms. I used to be in gymnastics when I was uh, young and I pretty much always worked my arms out. And uh, But I've noticed that I'm getting definition, more definition in my arms before I could see the definition of my bicep, deltoid, and tricep. But I'm starting to see more definition beyond that. So that tells me that I'm losing the fat. My shoulder is feeling better, the bad one. Um, but I've noticed that I'm getting leaner right here. It used to be heavier. And so I've noticed the toning of that. Of course, I've noticed that I've lost fat right here. I've noticed it in my chest. I feel, even though my breasts are the same size, I feel like I'm cinching in, losing weight right here. My stomach, I'm cinching in. Of course, I wish I could just like rip it off, but um, I'm cinching in with a bar. You should really, they really concentrate on you always. Uh, uh, tightening your abs, bringing in your abs, bringing them into your, down your spine. At first, uh, you know, when I've gotten so, when I had gotten so big, I couldn't feel it. I was like, oh my God, I don't feel like, I'm trying to bring it down to my spine, basically like contracting it, bringing it in, you know, like without going like <sighs> sticking your chest out and bring it in on it without like that, just bring it in the stomach, cinching it in, and I couldn't feel it at first, and now I'm starting to feel me bringing it in. So that might be something you guys might be struggling with, like I'm bringing in my stomach, but I don't feel it. The more you do it, you'll start feeling it because you're losing the weight. So that's a good thing, and I've shared some recipes with you guys. I probably only shared two or three this week, but I'll let you know what I've had. And I had, I did share this recipe with you guys. I baked a flour, carb-free, tor uh, flour tortilla one. And if I'm not mistaken with it, I had put some mayonnaise with some avocado, mixed it with some onion, a little cilantro. And, um, and I did that as the base. And then I put my chicken my spinach or I could have used a spring mix and then I put the tomatoes jalapenos on it I made it like a little tostada that was really good and you can top it with either salsa jalapenos or avocado or avocado and salsa and jalapenos I had done that and then for breakfast this is one of my favorite breakfasts I had used for me I use you could use two egg whites one egg white and a whole egg I mixed it. Of course, this was for a family of four. My husband was here. So, for men, two eggs, two egg whites. And I put, I rinsed some black beans, one can, and I mixed it with Rotel, and I topped it with a little bit of salsa with a little bit of um, mozzarella cheese. The same thing with the tostada. I topped it with very, like a tablespoon. 
And then I had my meatballs. These are so good. You cook them with uh, stewed tomatoes. I don't put a filler in my meatballs. It's just onions, garlic, seasoning, and um, I don't put graham crackers. I don't put bread crumbs. I don't like it like that. I've always liked the real meat. And then I cooked it in my, um, what is it, pressure cooker? And uh, with the stewed tomatoes, and I let them sit. And I came up with this soupy, delicious. The stewed tomatoes are delicious, the hunts. And with a little bit of um, cheese. And I also had a hamburger with the sandwich thins with one side of carrots. You can cook the carrots, bake them, whatever you'd like, or eat them fresh. I cooked mine, I put some salt and pepper on it, and of course my hamburger had some um, olive oil mayo, it had onions, tomatoes, spinach, mustard, and uh, you could use whatever mustard you like, uh, like the Grey Poupon mustard, and of course I had my 90-10 patty that I cooked with onions and garlic, and um, 3 ounces or 4 ounces is fine. I also had... For breakfast, one and a half eggs, half being the egg white, that's what I considered a half. And I cooked my eggs sunny side up and I topped it with salsa. I don't know if I had a little bit of cheese. I may have a, had a little cheese or may have not. I can't remember. I'll put the picture on there. If it has it, I did. And if it doesn't have it, I didn't put it. And one turkey sausage. Then, last night, I cooked chicken breasts. And uh, when it was done cooking, I went ahead and I put some turkey pepperonis because I saw this on Prevention Magazine and it looked really good. And I also cooked in uh, low-sodium chicken broth some uh, Fiber Smart elbow macaronis. And I also put some stewed tomatoes on there. So then I had the, the as you can see, they're the stewed uh, macaronis with a little bit of cheese, with a little bit of sauce, with my chicken topped on top, with four or five little um, turkey pepperonis. And then I had um, one Mamma Mia's pizza, uh, done with a thin pizza crust. A serving is when you cut it in six. A serving is one sixth, and uh, the calories are not that high, so you can have to. Um, and of course, I did my 90 10 meat, you can use whatever meat you'd like, or no meat at all. And I put, of course, my little marinade sauce with some onions, I put some um, spinach, Anaheim peppers, some mushrooms, I topped it up with a little bit of cheese. And that's what I had. You can have a salad on the side with that if you'd like. And then, kind of like on my cheat day, even though it wasn't much of a cheat day, I used the oat nut bread. I really love that oat nut bread. And I made one or one and a half, mine was one and a half, French toast. And I had one egg and a half, half being the egg white. The reason I combine it with the French toast that I put the egg is if you don't have a protein with your carb you will get the jitters really bad and get hungry right away so always if you're gonna have some carbs for breakfast always put a protein on the side I've learned that the hard way because oh my god I'd start shaking and get really hungry and once I learned that you need to put a um, protein with it it helped and I used very little I would run out of my maple syrup so I had to use my husband's Mrs. Butters uh, syrup and um, but I didn't even put a quarter of a cup I've never really liked syrup on my French toast I pretty much just like it like that but uh, I did that and um, so that's what I've had I'm sharing with you guys what I cooked of course I'm going to add some of these recipes it's just that sometimes um, when I'm going about my day um, and then it's like oh my god it's supper time let me you know and I bought my origami uh, fold away store away island so I'm really excited you guys are gonna get to see that I'll give you a preview a review on that so I'm really excited about that so I wanted to share God, my I always feel like really dry right here and I always put some 
um, emu oil, but it's kind of like feels kind of dry. And so when I, ever you guys see me doing this, is because it gets really dry right here, and it kind of like it just so. And then here too, I know TMI. So, but I wanted to share that with you, and I let um, the bar three know how much weight I'd lost. So when I had sent it to her, I was reading like at 178, and I said, oh my God, I've lost almost that 10 pounds, and I'm really excited, which I know I've lost like 10 pounds because before I weighed myself and started eating healthy, uh, I was weighing more than that. So I know I've pretty much within a month lost 10 pounds. And so I let them know, and they were like, oh, you know, let us, we want to get in touch with you. So I'm really excited about that. But I really love the bar three. I think I want to get my bar certification so I can do bar YouTube videos for you guys. And I'm also including the bar three workouts. So check them out. I love her bar workouts. They are definitely helping me see the difference. You guys, and I do mean you guys, men do the workout it's really good for you it gives you that core um, my husband had told me he's always told me about the Pittsburgh Steelers football player a long time ago he had ballet classes and he was like one of the best football players so know that uh, Pilates or yoga or um, bar is really good for you guys and I'm really excited to share with you guys my progress don't give up if you feel like you cheated and you feel like I pretty much ruined my whole diet, that's it. No, pick yourself up either. If you did it for breakfast, pick yourself up for lunch, you know. If you did it that whole day, pick yourself up for the next day. Now, don't do it every day, but, you know, don't cheat every day. Uh, but, you know, I was reading in my prevention magazine that if you do cheat, and let's say you have a hamburger, because we have Whataburger over here, and I love Whataburger, and patty melt is my weakness. So uh, what you can do is, like it said, top it up with a bunch of veggies. So when I eat mine, I always ask for extra lettuce, tomato, onions. Even though it already comes with sauteed onions, I say, give me fresh onions, and top it off. Take one of the um, buns off if you want, or both of the buns off, but you're still getting that delicious flavor and it says if you do that it's better than not than just having the fatty meat meal adding topping it off with a lot of veggies helps you burn fat still so true you know if you are going to cheat still have like a salad on the side or something so yeah i'm really excited and i want to thank you my subscribers and everybody who's watching it and I can't wait till I get my certification so I can show you guys some of the workouts and uh, or I might show you ahead of time some of the workouts and uh, just share them with you. I used to teach PE. I was an aide and so I used to do PE with the kids and stuff so I know how to do a little thing, you know, like a little segment. And so I want to thank you guys for checking out my status. Check out my recipes. I hope you enjoy them. Yes, I am Hispanic, so I do have a lot of Hispanic recipes. I'll try to incorporate more regular recipes on there. And um, so you guys take care, and here's to us losing it together, you guys. I wish you guys good luck, and thank you, you guys. Bye.